rocket powered racing car <laughs> let's take a look how it got here so I've started with a plastic kit from Tamiya and uh, just did some concept sketches I wanted a kind of this 1930s alternative past where they had rocket powered racing cars on retro Roboland it's my channel um, so anyway I took the kit and thought right it's going to build a rocket power I want to have the intake in the front to allow the air to come in um, so just a basic straight ahead build but also filled in the uh, wheel uh, rows and you can have a look here that's the bit where I've painted it up with uh, Millipart painted the base underneath with a dark grey colour a bit of undershading and then uh, painted it in silver including these hinges springs I guess you'd call them and then uh, various bits of bits of glue to glue it in and using my old paint uh, just to just to paint in the look and the feel and get uh, the final look that I'm after uh, for the underside of the car what I'm doing here I've got a piece of copper wire and a small battery and uh, using soldering iron I uh, took apart the inside of it like a kind of tea light light and uh, glued the two different parts together and then when you hook it up together you can see that it makes a light go and I'm going to use this for the rocket out the back I'm going to build a natural rocket out the back and bury the light inside of the car itself there we go try that out uh, then moving on just this is some some decals for the uh, engine panel the you know the accelerate barometer and things like that and gluing that into the car the other thing I did was I built it in so it's enclosed a single driver car who's in the center so I built kind of a cage around that and also housing at the back for the rocket engine uh, with styrene balsa and just smoothed off some millipart and then the next bit I actually built the engine itself kind of a rotary rocket engine based on the Gloucester Meteor engine from the fighter plane around about World War II um, they made that out of Milliput and uh, kit bashing other parts of the kit that I, that I didn't use and um, I think it was also a gun barrel anyway I, I built it up to look like the rocket engine I had uh, research photographs yeah, it went in a kind of circle and it would have had a lot of power and I like this idea that this this uh, car scoot around here I'm just making a, a windshield kind of a circular windshield um, out of a plastic cocktail uh, cup that I got and that's just will sit in there later on driver's sitting in there all ready to go and that's the basic uh, the basic kit up ready in terms of the build um, you can take out and then uh, put in the put in the battery I'm just spraying the engine silver here and then just the undershading on the car itself, the white with a, it's a secondary grey, just to build up kind of areas of shadow, um, make it look a bit kind of cooler, slightly stylized, and then ink wash or sorry, oil washes on the engine itself uh, to give it kind of contrast and and the guy driver make him look all civilian. Now I kind of went with a retro scheme of, of the look and feel of it with a red stripe over the white uh, kind of saw similar sort of schemes on 1950s cars really but we can imagine this existing in the 50s just using the decals off an omnibus actually and then after that again another lot of oil washes over top of a varnish uh, that, I, that I'd spray painted on and just bringing out the shadows and highlights with a bit of grey in the car gluing on the windshield and that's probably done um, I made the, the rocket part like kind of interactively there it's, it's, it's got a piece of uh, hot glue and um, some clear sprue cotton wool and I spray painted it and got the kind of look I was after the base I used my very special hot knife uh, draw just to make up the base and then kind of round shapes I went for the look of um, kind of banked concrete track like they have at Brooklyn's or in Germany as well they had some pretty cool ones uh, online I found the look 
So I basically used a semicircle and just slightly curving around um, at the start. And then this is me using the foam at the back, which I'll put an advertising hoarding on. Use Milliput just to smooth it out, get the feel that I wanted. And here I noticed on some of the tracks they had a groove in them, like for speed, I suppose. So my track has a groove made out of uh, a little template that I run through, just putting on some textured concrete paint from AK, and then I just gluing on some dirt as an underbase for the grass that'll come later on. Uh, again, just using my airbrush to build up, kind of underpainting with the with the greys on the track, just to to give it a kind of look and feel that I was after. And then oil washes to get more grimy, kind of greasy, driven on racing track look. <laughs> so took a long time going back and forth with that. Drew on some stripes uh, using airbrush and spray painted the edges all nice and black. So this is again off an omnibus, omnibus kit had these Advertising hoardings down the side of the bus, but I figure well they'll double as the advertising hoardings on the side of the, the racetrack. Just put them onto styrene, which wasn't the best. I should have probably put an undercoat under, um, but I fixed that later on. Uh, and then just put some rust streaks on it to give it an old look. They're out on the rain. Um, the rust would sort of drip down various different darker and lighter shades of rust to give it a kind of a weathered outdoor pantina. I glued it on and I'd also covered it with a, an acrylic varnish that acted as a base and used my static grass applicator to do that. Here's the final look. I'm really happy with this build. A bit different from what I've done previously. Much more kit than kit bash and done in the past but here it is. A fantastic place I'd like to go in my imagination. Rocket powered racing from the 1930s. Thank you for watching Retro Roboland. There'll be other builds, more robots, other bits and pieces, so tune on in.